Hello, good morning everybody. Um, we're going to do something a little different today. I was feeling like I had no inspiration. Um, so I decided to get a coloring page. I, this is where I got this coloring page at verbnow.com. I printed it out on a half sheet, so it's a 5x7 approximately. And I got this cute little image. I think it's adorable. And I'm just going to add patterns to this coloring page. Um, I wanted to show that you could, some people say, well, I can't draw, yada, yada, yada. That's fine. Don't have to draw. Grab yourself an image that's simple lines and then add to it. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, nothing fancy. I am going to um, use some patterns that I have saved on Pinterest. This is what my Pinterest page looks like. Uh, you can go over to Pinterest and, and follow me. Uh, draw Tangles with Dawn, right? I don't have a lot of followers right now. That's cool. That's absolutely cool. And I really don't follow many uh, other Pinterest pages, which that's okay too. Um, but I have uh, ribbon tangles now. I have saved some of those. And inside there, I've got 20 that I saved. And I'm just going to kind of scroll through these and do some in these stripes, right? And maybe down in here. Um, and just kind of play around with some of these patterns. Um, I'm not going to show you the step outs for each and every one. You can go in here and look. I will tell you the names of each one as I do them. Um, some I will feel like doing but more than others. I don't know. We're going to start with this one, I think. I'm going to start with this one, which is called Bee Bug. And that's where I'm going to start. And we're just going to fill in from a coloring page. I'm going to turn on my lights so you guys can see better. So I can see. And uh, let's just get started. No ditzing about today. Okay. Let's see. This one has... sort of a curvy line. Let's do this one here. And it's got a curvy line, but it doesn't touch each of the sides of the ribbon. So it kind of just goes like this. Like that. And then I got to zoom in a little. I do have problems sometimes with Pinterest because Sometimes the pins are very low resolution, but there's nothing you can do about it, especially if uh, if the original source is no longer available. So then it looks like on either side of these, we put some circles. I got a little close to the edge, that one. They've got three circles on each of these. Lumpty bumps. I think I'm going to do four or maybe five. Maybe a little longer. I want to take up a little more space with my circles. Like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then what do we do? Oh, that's it. Okay, cool. So how are you guys? I'm exhausted. I'm just having a tough time with sleeping through the night. <coughs> I, uh, I do all the things that are suggested for, you know, better night's sleep. And I just, I'm having a hard time. I don't seem to be having as hard a time getting to sleep as I used to, but I'm sure as heck having a hard time staying asleep. <coughs> I don't like taking medications regularly. Um, I do uh, 
take melatonin. Um, I occasionally take a over-the-counter sleep aid, like, you know, z or something like that. Um, you know, I want to, I want to, I want to embellish these somehow. Let's see. Let's do, this is what the tangles looks like according to this step out. But I think I want to, I'm going to play with, with getting an extra line in here, I think. Um, yeah, I do all the things. Oh, I didn't do this side. Were you guys yelling at me? Probably were. Yeah, I'm going to just do that. Um, I think my biggest problem is, is my weird work schedule and I think that causes sleep problems and getting a new manager uh, soon my current manager is moving on to other pastures outside of retail which is cool and um, I have to sit down with my new manager and say, you know, I'm just having having a tough time adjusting to sometimes I open and work in the mornings and sometimes I close and work late till I don't get off of work till 11, 15 p.m. And this bouncing back and forth, I th think, is what's really causing my my sleep issues. It's really difficult on a person. And I just, I just don't want to do this anymore. I, I, I want him to pick something. Either have me always closing or always opening. But this bouncing back and forth is really starting to, to bug. I just, I'm having a hard, hard time dealing with it. So I'm going to have to have a little chat with the new manager and see if there's something he can do. Because I think that's most of my problem. I think my brain has anxiety on the days that I have to get up early. Um, my brain says, "Oh, you're gonna go, you're gonna oversleep, you're gonna oversleep, you're gonna oversleep," and then so all night long I'm waking up to see what time it is. I think that's what's happening, and then I'm not getting any rest. It's it's just ugh, it's just awful. Let's do this one. This one's called Circus by Angie. Gittles, G-I-T-T-L-E-S. Um, and this one is a... It can be drawn in a grid, but it also can be drawn in a ribbon. And I think we're going to do it here. So I'm going to make little boxes. just with my pencil just to kind of give me a, a guide as to where to put my things. It does a lotus-like shape up to the middle here. So kind of in and up like that. Sort of a petal. And then it has an aura like that. And then it has a line down with a circle. And that's it. Fairly easy. Okay. So one here. So it kind of goes up like that. And up like that. And like this. And a line down with a circle. that, like that, like this, and then about in the middle of there, line 
down. This is a fairly simple design. I like simple. Right, we're going to go one more. Like that. I didn't do that one quite the same, but that's okay. It's getting smaller. And then it has, I mean, I suppose we could do another one going the other way, but it has actually going like this and like this in this negative space spot. That, like that, and probably one here, like so. Like that. Okay, that was circus. Let's go use something else. This one's called Vector WEC, V E C T O R W E C. Or is it called Line Weave Pattern? Oh, it might be called Line Weave Pattern. And it's from the website Vector WEC. That could be Line Weave Pattern by Cindy A. Angel. Okay, so it has, let's do it up here. It has the one line. I'm going to go ahead and redraw that line. And then it has a, like a double line like that. And then here as well, a double line. And then inside the double line, it has like really long, skinny triangular bits, kind of like teeth almost. I'm going to, um, they need to go just past the midpoint. So I'm going to put the midpoint in with my pencil. And then I'm going to decide where they're going to go. They're fairly close together. Something like that. Okay, so they go just past the midpoint and they go every other spot. So this one and then this one and this one and that one. Something like that. And then what's next? Step three is, oh, no, no, no. Uh, I have such a hard time with the way Pinterest works. Because if you don't touch just the right place on your phone, it goes to the website, and I don't want to do that. Okay, and then it's got little Vs at the end of these. V-shape or Y-shape like that. And then it has dots. Then it's got a big dot and a small dot coming out from That's that pattern. Erase my pencils. Okay, that's good. Do I want to do that one again? Or do I just want to keep doing a random variety of things? I don't know. How many how many things do I have here? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, well I can do we can try most of these patterns then. Let's let's try that. Let's see, what's the next one? The next one I have, kind of looks like eyelashes. It's very similar to this one.
Okay, let's do this one has a squiggle like that. And then on the this side of the squiggle we've got one, two, three, four, five, five circles. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay. And then in the middle of each of these circle-y bits, I had to bring you in just a snidge. Our little rice shapes. Like that. Like I said, it kind of looks like eyelashes. There's that one. That one was called, did I tell you the name of it? It was called Shorely, S-H-O-R-L-E-Y, and it says it's, oh gosh, come on phone. It says it's by Suzanne Fleur, F-L-U-H-R. And then, let's see, oh, there's more steps. It's got us then doing... Like that and then if you want to you can do extra bits like an extra aura Let's do an aura. Why not? Why not? We'll make her fancy. Next, what else have I got on my list of things? Let's do this one. This one's called Ditto by Sue Jacobs. And it has like a teardrop shape. Um... I'll do it in this one. It's got like a teardrop shape, and they're going to go in a zigzag. Sort of a zigzag, a curvy zigzag shape. Like so. I'm going to, with pencil, I'm just going to kind of give me... Give myself a little guide of which direction they're going to go. And they kind of go um, opposites. So it's got a teardroppy shape coming this way, kind of a curvy, like that. And then it's got one going the other way. That's why I did the zigzags. So I could kind of uh, keep track of how her pattern goes. Like 
that. Okay, and then in between these, we have uh, smaller ones coming up. Two more, like that. And then this one, like that. Did I do that right? No. No, I did not. That's okay. It was supposed to go this way. It was supposed to go that direction. This one was supposed to go this direction. This one is supposed to go this direction. Alrighty. So then this one should have, should have ones coming up this way. Like that. Okay. That's the general idea of this one. Okay. Did I tell you the name of that one? That was Ditto. D-I-T-T-O. And then let's do this one. This one is called Curly Border. It's got Why has it got so much instruction? I'm not too sure why it's got so much instruction. Okay. I'm just going to do one row of it. I'm not going to do them back to front. It's, it's got them two uh, parallel rows, but I'm just going to do one row. But it is also another one of these ones that has Double lines to start. And then it's got, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do the double line in here too. Why not? And then it's got, Dots evenly spaced, it says. Like that. And then you do an S-shaped S curve. I'm going to do it with pencil to start, just so I get the right thing. Okay, so you, you do one that comes up, no, over, over, and down like that, over, and down like that, over, that and then you go the other way. So it comes around and down like that. Around and down like that. This this one on this side is supposed to be full all the way across, and this one's supposed to be smaller. Let's draw it. Let's draw it. Big and then not as big. Big and not as big. Big and not as big. Big and not as big. Big, not 
is big, big, not as big, something like that. And then we are supposed to put soycles right there. something like this and then it says line space five lines don't know what that means that's that pattern okay that was called curly border Uh, let's do I'm trying to do ones that I haven't done before on my on my channel. Some of them I have. Well, that one's kind of cute. Okay, this one does sort of snail-like things. Uh, does it have a name? This one does not have a name. I pin I pinned it. It doesn't have a name. It came from media cash pin mg.com. So it doesn't have a name. It doesn't have a, a artist name or anything on it. Um, but it also I think it needs to be a little skinnier, so I'm going to do it in here, and I'm going to do two rows. It also has this double line, so I guess every other one I'm going to put a double line one, just to make some consistency. And then all really it is is this spiral shape going this direction and they're all connected like that and then you're supposed to fill in a little triangle here but I didn't really leave much space but that's okay going to I feel like it should be like here coming out of here and then coming out oop up there and then coming out of like that then you just fill in this little space right there, this little triangle. That's really all that one is. And it doesn't have a name. That's okay. Uh, let's do this one. It's called... Does it have a name? Littlefield UT by Tammy Rapp. So it is, let me get myself some spacing here. It has, I'm gonna put that there. It's got, it's gotta be in kind of a, I'm gonna do spacing like that. And then this would be here. pretty big pattern okay so this pattern I'm gonna do it inside this box right here is a an arch Oop, you can't see that an arch with a circle and then the next step 
So then this one is also an arch with a circle. And this one would be then an arch going this way. You won't see the circle. And then in between, there are three like lumpy bumps like that. And then there is this. So that would come up. You might see a part of it there. And you'll see this one coming out like this. And this one probably like that. And like that. And then more of these, two more in between. One and two, one and two, one and two. Like that. And then up here, There's a line. Like this. And then there's something that goes. Oh, that's that line should have been here. That's all right. We'll just do another row. This line should have been here like that. And then there should be a one that goes like this. And this and that. That's the that's the pattern there. And so I've kind of created a new space there. Let's let's see what we can do with that space. Let's go back and find No, not that one. Maybe this one? This one's called shard. And this one, you put a, I'm going to start going this way, I think. You put like a triangle. You fill it in. And then you aura until you hit the other side. And then you do another triangle on this side. And then you aura. And then you do one from here. And you just kind of go back and forth. And I think I'm going to fill these in. Like that. I'm 
mix it up as to where my little shard bits are coming from. Something like that. Something like that. That one's called shard. And then I'm going to put, I'm just going to put some circles in here just to kind of fill this space. couple more. What do we want to put in here? Oops. I went back too far. Ribbon tangles. Let's go down to the bottom of my page and see what I saved down here. Um, I didn't save that. Uh, to, 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 to find more ideas. What the heck? Um, about this one? This one's called 123 O'Leary. That's kind of cute. Let's save that pin to Ribbon Tangles. Okay. And this one has I'm going to put it I'm going to put it here. It actually needs a bit of pencil like that. And then you do this sort of, and I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to do it this way so I have more room. Okay, so you do a sort of, like shape here. One, two, three, one, two, three, O'Leary. Just like that. One, two, three, and then O'Leary. Interesting. So this would have a swirl. I'm trying to remember, see how I would continue that pattern. You would see that. Something like that. Okay. That one is called one two three O'Leary. do we want to do? Uh, well, I've done this one before. I like this one. It's called Zanholli. Z-A-N-H-O-L-L-I. Let's save that one to Ribbon Tangles. Okay. And it's really interesting. You do I'm going to do it here because I want it nice and long. So you do a, a line, which would be that one. Go ahead and draw right along there. And then you do another line, which would be this one, but I think I want to do the the scraggly ends. So the scraggly ends need a space for it. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to do another line here. 
And then inside this line, we do some bands like this. It's been a long time since I've done this one. This is an old one. I really like the look when you're done. And then on one side, go ahead and make a dark kind of a a random kind of a wiggly line. Make sure you go in between those bands. Like so. How are we for time? Oh, we're terrible for time. Okay, I gotta get a move on. I'm just having fun here with you guys. Have you noticed? But basically you just make spots you can you can do where they kind of overlap like this it's actually easier to draw it with a slightly larger pen let me go up let me go up a size here What you're doing is you're going to end up with um, like strands. I like when they kind of go sideways. You want them wiggly. This is a good one for people with wiggly hand motions. You want them wiggly. You want different sizes and strand lengths because it makes it look more organic and um, Yeah. You 
you can really really play into that. It's a dark and light and shadow. And the more you put in, the better it looks. And then I'm going to go back to to here, my smaller pen. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to like really give them some like tangly ends. So like these strings. something like this. Look at that. I love that. And it's really quite simple to do. And then you can make it a little extra dark here. It'll kind of cover up if you made a mistake and got over onto your band by giving it a little extra on this side. Give it some shading. Okay, I think I'm done. But see, the point is here that we have now embellished this coloring page. And we've taken it from a kid's coloring page to an adult coloring page just by adding patterns to the page. Isn't that awesome? I really think that is something that, that can, anybody can do. And you can take your patterns and add them to a coloring page, a simple kids coloring page, and make it more of an adult coloring page. And now you can come in here. I could finish these off. Uh, I'm running out of time, so I can't do that. But see what that does? Isn't that fun? I just so enjoyed myself. Like I said, uh, the link to my Pinterest boards are in the description box below. So if you want to check them out and follow what I've been pinning, feel free. Um, but yeah, this is how to take a simple kids coloring page and make it an adult coloring page. You guys have a great day. I will see you on whatever next video is going to be. And um, yeah, that's it. Have a great afternoon. Go out and do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place, one person at a time. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.